business. And I want to share an analogy with you. So imagine it's your first day of college. And can we all like go back? I don't know how long, but for me, it's like 20, 20 years. Oh, 22 years since it was my first day of college. But take yourself back, your first day of college. Kat's like, you 22 years, I've got someone you <laughs> So taking yourself back to that first day of college, you're, you're nervous, but you're so excited, right? You're excited to get stuck into your curriculum. You're excited to make new friends. You're excited to be in this environment. You think you're in exactly the right place. You feel good about everything that's going on. You and your friends, you're just going to take the college campus by storm. Like the parties are going to be lit. I said lit to my brother the other day and he was like, can you not? Can, can you just not do that? And I was like, why? And he said, because you're old. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Apparently you can't say lit once you reach 40. That's fine. I know, so rude. Um, but ev like everything is going, like you feel good. You're making friends left and right. Everything feels good, right? But then you start feeling that discomfort. The, the workload gets a little bit heavier. Maybe you're you realize that waking up in the morning isn't your jam after not going to bed till 4 a.m. because we all did that. Um, you start feeling like you can't keep up. Something Sarah said earlier about losing traction with um, strength training. Maybe you feel that about your coursework, about everything is kind of piling up. You feel as if you're, you're behind, right? It feels hard. You start to feel maybe a little bit bored. Um, you start to think maybe, maybe what Alice did Maybe I should have done that major. Maybe it would be better if I did that major. So you sit on it for a little bit and then you decide, actually, I am going to change my major. I'm going to do what Alice did. So you change your major and you start feeling good again. You're excited again. You're getting stuck in. You're making new friends. You're getting used to the new schedule. You're learning new stuff. It feels good until it doesn't feel good. <laughs> again, you start feeling again, hard. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. I don't know whether I can keep up. Maybe what Maria shared about her major and how great it was, maybe that would be a better fit for me. So you sit on it again for a couple of weeks and wonder, and then you think, okay, I'm going to change my major. So you change your major. Imagine changing your college major semester after semester after semester, never completing any courses, never clocking up any like enough course credits, never finishing anything, and then wondering why on earth you're not graduating. Can you imagine that? But, and I love you so, so much. I say this with so much empathy in my heart for you. Isn't that what some of you are doing with your weight loss efforts? <clears throat> Again, no judgment, right? I've been there. Girl, I know. I've been 